Welcome back to the redesigned underground village my fellow gamers and going medieval fans. With all the changes after update 3, I have so much more work to do in this village to get it back on track. The digging out of the decommissioned underground greenhouses has been started and I will have to think about what to make from the three underground greenhouses as well. But you have given me some great suggestions and not only about that, but also about several other aspects like stockpile management for arms and armor, ways to defend the village better, new building designs and much more which I will go into detail during this episode. Thank you all very much. The seeds and saplings are a big problem for me now and I have to plan out caravan trips to get them from other settlements. There are also many things I improve when it comes to my villagers jobs, schedule and equipment, again thanks to your suggestions, so keep them coming. Now that we are back in the underground village, there are a few things that I have left not done in the previous episode and as a consequence of update 3. If you remember, I had to remove my underground greenhouse here, which was a big blow because I really wanted to grow food underground, but alas, that's how it's gotta be. Now here, I managed to make this room into a new food cellar, but the trick is I have left some wooden panels here, which are going to increase the temperature because wood creates a problem that it actually can increase the temperature inside of underground rooms and that is why I'm going to use the deconstruct tool, select floors only and just this layer, so a single layer and then remove all the wooden flooring that's here. But I will use these shelves here to install them and then have a place for all the food to be at. So that's actually two and I think I have several more here. So those will be the new shelves which are going to be set for raw food. And on the top side, I have made sure to get these things, these three, how do we call them? Three groves to go and be cut at mature because for some reason, when you load the game and with the update three, you get this set up as saplings to be cut. And I don't want saplings to be cut. I want mature trees to be cut. So I had to do that for all of my groves as you can see that I have over here and over here as you remember I have to cut this area down so that I can remove the roof and have actual farming here with sunshine from on top now here because it's not going to be that cold anymore because it's winter day 12 I'm going to choose which of these next fields are gonna get cut and then we'll go down to the second level after the first level is cut I'll just have to be careful how I cut so that I can actually access all of these tiles and not create a problem for myself. Over here, I wanted to create some ice blocks. My time with winter has passed, so the temperature outside won't be cool enough. So I will have to actually move these things and relocate them down, 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 all the way to here at the level of granite, which I'm currently digging to. And these staircases, once they're made, will allow my builders to actually go down here and cut the access routes to an underground cellar which is going to be all the way down at the granite level and we'll see what's the temperature gonna be there and can we actually make some ice blocks during spring or maybe even summer depending on the temperature down there. Now as you can see that is going to give my villagers lots of stuff to do. They are already cutting these trees which are mature and that's a good thing actually because I only have 170 wood so that's a good thing. Now one of you has given me a great suggestion on how to climb all the way up here without actually going all the way around, round, round like I've set up for the enemies to go. You have suggested, and your name is up on the screen now, to actually make kind of an enclosed structure, staircase, going up, and so that my villagers can climb up over here. And that is exactly something that I'm going to think about how to produce. So, first of all, I need to close up this gap here. So that's the first thing that needs to be done. Then, if they are supposed to be coming out of here, that means that here, it has to be closed up, so I'm going to relocate these traps because they're in my way right now. Let's one, two, and let's relocate this one as well. And then I will enclose this with some very fine walls, limestone brick walls, limestone block walls, and I will set them up like so. And then over here to have the ability to actually have a staircase here. Oops, that's a misclick. And then from here, I will need to make an additional staircase. Let's find the material that I can use readily. Well, actually, it's mostly... Well, I can use limestone blocks, I suppose. 
So let's go with that. Limestone block staircase that is going to go from here. So from one staircase, they will jump onto the next and the next and the next. And then I'll have them jump over here to this floor. And that's actually a brilliant idea because it will shorten the path. My villagers must go instead of going the same path the enemies would round and around. They're just going to go straight up. And of course, I will have to place some security doors here just to make sure that the enemies can do the same. And I will enclose this further and have like two gates here with the grated door. Or I could go with the reinforced door. Which one has more hit points? The reinforced door. Yeah, makes sense. It's called a reinforced door for a reason. So I'll have these and these walls. And then I will do the limestone blocks here, 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 and here. And then I'll go to the second level once the staircase is finished. So that's the idea for that. And have they dug down there so that I can give them more digging orders? Nope, they are still working on this. The staircase was completed. Why did they use clay brick staircase? Okay, never mind. But it would have been nicer if it had been limestone bricks. But limestone blocks, I mean. But okay, never mind. They'll dig that at some point. They are digging up here. Okay, nicely done. So I can choose the next stuff for them to dig. Let's go in this line like so. I think that should work. Now, I cannot move this until they are done with that. But one thing that I can do is do some tweaking to the stockpiles. Another suggestion by several of you, actually. And your names are on the screen now. Let me just check. Okay, so here is my default stockpile, which I will rename into armor and weapons high quality. Ah, oh, man, I ran out of letters. So high quality. Okay. I have a trick I always use. No, can't use the sign for end. Ah, okay. Armor and weapons, high quality, high <laughs> HQ headquarters, <laughs> high quality as well is the shorthand for this. So let's go with hit points only between 85 and 100 and quality only from superior to flawless. So this is going to be my grade A weapon and armor, high quality. It's going to be here. Everything else will be packed at somewhere else. Well, let's see. Currently, I don't seem to have any good spots for that because I don't really have an armory in this place yet. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I'll probably make the armory somewhere else next. Oh, oh, by the way, I need to start digging this iron, which is handily right here next to my furnaces. So that's great. And to locate a place. Hmm. Well, I already did use this, although this is in their rooms and I don't really want to put armor and weaponry in their rooms. So, no, you know what? I will put armor and weapon here and uh, armor and weapons here in their rooms, but this will be the low quality stuff. So I'm going to go with anything below 84% hit points and anything below, let's go move this. Why won't you move with me? Come on, work with me here. Why can't I click on you? That's funny. Oh, oh, <laughs> my bad. Got to go from this side. So cut all except, no, it should be possible to move this. Okay, how did that just work? Okay, never mind. Anyway, so up to fine or good. I'm going to go up to fine. And high priority for apparel. Apparel? Hmm. Okay, I'll leave. Okay, I'll we'll leave clothing here as well. So I'm going to copy this and use that on all the other ones that are in these rooms. And that will be set up here for a while until I actually have a place to have this stockpiled, my weaponry. And I could start building, actually, could I start building those weapon racks? Yeah, I have the tech analog for weapon racks, but I don't really have any proper rooms. And it's kind of easier to see what you have from weaponry when you actually have it on the floor, which is something I think developers should change and give us some sort of an item list of items or <laughs> item list of items, a list of items of armors and weaponry that, so that we can see what do we have, which are on the armor racks and weapon racks because that would make it much easier to see compared to what we have now. So I think I have actually pasted this onto all of these. Have I? Yep. So far as I can see all are set up. So this will remain as my top armors and weaponry and all the rest will go onto these. 
Now, I have given some orders for Forever to be dismantled for clothing and weapons and armor for Flimsy up to sturdy for both clothing and metal armors, so that's gonna be destroyed. And over here, I have not given similar orders because I'm kinda low on weaponry to be frank with you. I have this good bludgeon, a good iron hatchet, a short bow, a good war bow, and that's about it. And these weapons are kinda spent a little bit, so I'm not gonna be deconstructing any weapons anytime soon until I actually craft some higher quality ones. And I think Alfred is doing exactly that. If we go over here and see what he's working on, he's working on a new short sword. I think I saw a good sword over here. A fine steel short sword. So I should definitely equip somebody with this. This one is using a good iron knightly sword. That's 3.45 DPS. This is 5.8. So that's definitely an improvement. And a good bludgeon, 1.40 DPS. So Harry will definitely need to come over here and switch his weapon for this. So let's pick this up. And Harry is going to be... I think I can do this a little bit in a better way. So if I go into the match tab and find Harry and then go over here, melee and edit weaponry and tell him to only use anything that's fine and above with like 60%. No, he might throw it away if used in combat. So I'll leave it at 0 to 100, but I will keep it to fine to flawless quality. And he'll be able to use... Anything that's melee two-handed? No. He sh Am I using the wrong character here? Wait a minute. Harry has a shield? Oh, I see what I did here. Okay. Go with melee one-handed and edit weaponry to use only fine to flawless. Melee one-handed version two, let's call it something like that. Version two. Weapons, melee one-handed yeah that's better so he'll just use that and i think i have to add this as a custom pro file yeah and now rename it right so one hundred version two there we go so and now i just unclick that should do it so one-handed version two and that's it now he should do this automatically although i did force equip this because of this little icon here so he might not do it on his own instantly. You might have to help him out. Yeah. So I'll drop this. And I think if I let him on his own, he will go back and pick something better. I think Blake just stole your weapon, dude. <laughs> oh, wait, did I just... Oh, uh, my God. Uh, did you see what I did? All the folks with melee two-handed just dropped their weaponry because I had edited this into fine to flawless. <laughs> Okay, I'll go back with this because I should not have edited the default profile. That was a mistake. So I'll go back and fix that. But they probably just left these weaponry wherever they stood. Yep, they did. So I need to give them the ability to pick this back up. Okay, my bad. And I think that should fix it now. They will probably pick up their weaponry at some point. So research is available. I could go with fletching or defensive structures, and that's about it. Well, let's unlock fletching. I might want to make some bows, some better ones. And there was one more thing that I want to talk about, one of your suggestions. And it is something that I could actually do here, considering that I wanted to dig this tree greenhouse. Although, I might just dig somewhere else for that. But anyway, the point of the matter is that the idea is to actually dig a huge two or three level structure in the underground and then make homes inside. So basically what I would do is like have one level dug, another level dug, and we'll pretend that there are two levels here, and then build homes here, like out of walls and roofs and everything. It would be like those Falmer structures in Skyrim, if you know the reference. So thank you for that idea. It's a great one. And I think I will definitely do that here in the underground village to just make it even more unique than it is right now. And just to talk about another one of your suggestions, and this one is great when it comes to defense of your settlement. Here we can see that there are lots of earthen ramps that go up to my village. And there we go. It's spring now. And that's like three. This one is four. So what you can do is actually limit the way the enemies can come at you by mining out these. You can see, you can mine it out, 
and then destroy it and then the enemies cannot climb because as you know they carry no ladders or siege equipment so i could actually just destroy those ramps and you can see that going all the way here if the enemies were to spawn here this is practically the only place they could come through or if they spawned up here they could go down through here and then come over here and attack my settlement but from over here if i were to destroy all the earthen ramps like i think this one here one two three four and i think there's nothing here nothing here nothing five if i were to destroy those five no enemies that spawned all the way here 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 all the side of the map would be able to actually get to me unless they found some way to go like all the way through here up here and then come back from on top so that would be a great way to influence the enemies it is something that i will definitely do in the future raids but currently i don't have to because i am not attacked by too many enemies but as i said it's a great idea and additionally what you can do is you if you leave something like this and especially when you have a path is set it up full of traps where are you traps that's all the way here so i could set it up full of traps and my enemies would just use this path as it is the fastest and also get hit by stick traps or wooden traps as many times as I have traps. So that would be fantastic to actually damage the enemies a lot before they even get to you. So this is all finished. I should set these doors to keep open so that I can actually use them. Now why is this not being built? Waiting for a seller. Okay. And have they dug that area down there that I want to use? Why is this still not being dug? Is there a problem to get down there? Have I miscalculated something? Wait a minute. Oh, so they cannot actually step over here. How did you even build those stairs if you can't step over there? So yeah, that was my bad. I did not notice how these staircases went. Okay, down there and then... Oh, so in order to get there, what I have to do is dig out this path this path and then they'll be able to access down there i don't think anything should get demolished if i do this let me check so this would lose its stability although it might not fall down because it has stability from pillars on the huh nothing no stability so this might actually cause a crash here We'll see this in a moment, but I think that's what's going to happen. But in any event, I need access down there. So, so far it's not crashing, but let's see what happens when Jut finishes digging this part. Yeah, this is still holding on. And if I dig this one, is it going to crash? Nothing has crashed yet. Okay, so it's an interesting stability thing here, but so far so... Ooh, wait. Oh, I see. Okay. So she digging, she's digging that. And once she has dug that one, I'll be able to go down. Okay, so it's a horrible design, but you get the point what's going to happen. I'll be able to access the lower level and then create a place for, hopefully, where I will be able to create ice. Now, here I need some more digging to be done as well. So let's cut this out. And let's go over here. Yeah, finally they're doing this. So the second level is going to be reachable now. I will need some flooring, actually, to be able... To to move in the second level so I'll go like this i think yep and i don't really actually need these i just <laughs> okay if you want to play that game with me why won't you let me just stick them over here and go one level higher yeah okay let them be like that and they'll be able to access the second level and then i'll be able to build the second level and then the third and so forth and so forth so let's go with this hopefully they will be able to access these yeah let me not build them until they can actually get up there so i'll just put those and then yeah i'll keep going with the staircase and then at some point i will have to move over to the left a little bit to be able to actually connect with this part but that's all for later so over here i have these vicar floorings which i don't really need anymore do i dare double click Nope, that sucks too many. Wait, let's try like this. It seems that you're limited by what you can see on the screen when you double click. So yeah, this works out nicely. And I'll just do the remainder like so. 
Okay, great. And then over here, double click. Shouldn't have selected anything else, great. So that is how you can separate what you want to destroy by just zooming in and then using your double click to choose a lot of it. So this is going well. Let's go over here to the edges and then continue building that up. Now, are they digging down there? Has the pad been cleared? Nope, they've actually stopped at this pillar here. I'll have to wait for that. They're digging this now. Okay, and you might as well go with the section as well. Now, what was it that I needed to do? I needed to get seeds and I just have some carrots and stuff. I don't have any seeds. So let's go over through the environment, turn off the trees and see, can we find some seeds? So we can definitely find seeds if we get the red green shrubs, which are ripe. So that's something at least. They'll be able to plant those. And there's one here. But why didn't you get... Oh, it's just not showing up on the icon, but it is actually selected to be harvested. Now let's move through here. And why is this not allowed? Find some of the other stuff that's supposed to grow. Although I think I... Yeah, because this is an old map, I might not actually be able to grow any flax in the nature. Well, I'm not going to grow it. The game should grow it, but that's actually available only when you start a new game after update 3. So I'm not going to find any wild flax or barley. I am going to be limited to what I can get from traders. So I really hope I actually get some traders. Although I could send a caravan. Have I researched? Where is that? Cartography. Yes, I have. And actually, I think I have a cartography table. Yeah, there it is. Excuse me, I have so many let's plays and so many personal playthroughs that it's kind of hard to keep track of everything where what is built. So as I said, I can actually access the map and let's see about the factions. So that's looking okay. I have some neutral ones that I can trade with. Check out the region. So this is bandits. This one is bandits. These are energy and neutral and these are Okina brethren alignment zero. Do I have anybody at like 50% anywhere? Nope, does not appear to be so. Okay, well, I'll trade with Dengemarsh. Dengemarsh. Uh, the heresy of the rose. Fine, let's find who can actually do that. Let's go by jobs and... No, that's actually not gonna work. Let's go like... Hmm, schedule match. No, let's just go this way. So, Speechcraft. I think it was somebody at the bottom who had high Speechcraft. Nope. Blake, maybe? Nope. Nope. Setup. Jet. Do I even have anybody with high Speechcraft here? Oh, here we go. Edward. What am I using Edward for? Currently, I'm using Edward for... Oh, he's my top researcher. Unfortunately. What else can research? 8. 22. Oh, that's... That's quite unfortunate. Anybody else with high speechcraft? Probably not, because I always selected them for low speechcraft, because as I was building this village in the first place, speechcraft wasn't even used until update 2. So yeah, only Edward. Well, okay, Edward, I'll have to send you. And what do I have to offer for seeds? Limestone bricks, clay bricks, maybe some weaponry, maybe some tallow could be used. Chronicles. Oh, that Tello reminds me actually of honey. And have I actually unlocked that? Let me see a research. Over here, fermenting. No, I think beekeeping. There we go. I did. So I might as well start with that. And then I can send some honey. I think honey should reach a good price. So skeps. Skeps won't grow, won't be. Well, skeps won't work underground, will they? Yeah, honey cannot be produced underground. So I will have to... Hmm, where do I put them? Can I put them up here? Would that even be possible? I mean, if I put them on the ground, they're going to get destroyed by the enemies when they attack. Maybe if I put them on the back and they're busy with the doorways, maybe they won't attack. Yeah, let's try that. Let's put them over here. One, two, three, four. I don't have enough hay. And the map, does the map even? Oh, right. Hay doesn't grow anymore. You have to have barley to get hay. Oh my god, I'm in big trouble, actually. 
yeah you see this is why i told people to actually run the update 3 once they are in springtime and not in winter like i was because now i no longer have access to seeds nor do i have any hay because there's no grass anymore you can only get hay from barley so big trouble there catch 22 i need hay to actually go and trade but i need to trade to get hay <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, I'll have to think of something else to trade. Maybe leather? Tallow? Maybe that could reach a good price? I'll have to try with that. Let me just see down here. Still nobody digging this? Why wasn't this set up for digging? Did I dig? Hmm. What in the world happened here? This was supposed to be dug so that I can actually access down here, but for some reason I don't know what happened there. Okay, let's go over here and see how is this progressing. A good steel hatchet, that's excellent. And a good iron hatchet that's still here. Have they picked up anything? Hmm, okay, so Harry is still using a good bludgeon. Why, Harry, are you still using a good bludgeon? When I expressly told you, so that's good. And I told you with my commands to use... What? Why is this still at flimsy? Okay, fine to flawless. What happens now if I close? That was what I was trying to achieve. Exactly. So that's good. He dropped that. And let's see, Sarah is using good iron knightly sword as well. And good iron hatchet. I don't want this to be used anymore. So I want a steel hatchet to be used. Let's see over here. So that's actually good as well. So we'll need to go to one-handed and edit one headed version 2 and edit it actually for good and then to false and that will actually edit this one as well if i'm not mistaken yeah they both get edited at the same time they're the same profile so that's okay now this one has actually good damage and this one too it's actually a fine steel sword so yeah it's definitely good damage so I just need this one to be exchanged for, I think, because of the icon, I have to actually do this manually. Where did you just drop that? Over here in the middle of nowhere. I sh uh, yeah. Unfortunately. Where are you going? You're... Okay. How about you go? No, don't equip. Okay. How did I achieve that result? Okay. Just to make sure that you don't actually go and equip that. How did I achieve that you have nowhere to place that? If it's... Set up to achieve... Oh, because of the help hit points, actually. I should have allowed this to be 100%. So, mm, yeah. It's, it's uh, going to look to me like... I shouldn't really dabble with the hit points if I dabble with the quality at the same time on a stockpile. Yeah. I think I should have stockpiles which have something changed in the hit points department and then separate stockpiles when i have something changed for the quality it's really hard to actually have just two types of stockpiles and then deal with changing the quality and the hit points at the same time it kind of prevents some weapons from having a place to be put at do i have iron going beneath here even more excellent that's very nice so only 10 but yeah, there's 76 here and more here. I'm really going to have to listen to one of your advices and change here in the jobs tab more people to be haulers and stewards even as far as going to one because these are the last jobs anyway and there are so few of them if they all work together that they won't really often go here and do these jobs they will actually just do them rarely because they're at the end and they have their first jobs and only when they do not have their first jobs at one will they actually be doing stewardship and hauling. And because I have so many settlers, any job that requires should be done really quickly. So I think I will leave it at one and thank you all for giving me that advice. Now, as for their schedule, I've also taken up one of your advices and used the anything now, I know some of you use anything like on broader strokes like this, for example, but I don't do that. I kind of use work because I want to be more specific and then just give them leisure time after they have slept 
or I could give them leisure time before they sleep, as you, some of you actually suggested, just to make them be at their bed sometime. And that's actually something that I'm going to change here. I'm going to go from work before bedtime to leisure time before bedtime and give them these two hours here, but also actually give them this three hour after they wake up so that they actually eat, drink or something like that before actually going to work. And so I've changed these to here and that means I need to change these to here so that they go and do some leisure time before sleeping and therefore get actually close to their bed because leisure activities are closer to their beds than their work is if they are for example going out there and harvesting something. Okay, I know you're idle, I'll get to you in time. So let's move this down here to work. So work, leisure time before bed. Actually, this is a miss here. This should be over here. And this will be work time. And then anything once you've woken up. So that's that for you and that for you. I think that about does it. If I made any mistakes, I'll probably hear from you in the comments. Now, who is idle? Bertrand is idle and you should Actually, can you dig anything down here? Bertrand, 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 where are you? Why don't I see you? Oh, here you are. You actually don't mind. You cook, you construct, you hunt. I could send you hunting. That's no problem at all. Let's just find some deer. Yeah, they have respawned. So let's have some deer hunted down. Oh, and I have a good crossbow left over here. Interesting, how did that happen? It probably happened for a good reason when I changed some settings. But a good crossbow? When did I change settings for a good crossbow? That's quite odd. Hmm. I'm not sure why that happened. In any event, do I have any of those saplings? Oh, they just used them and replanted them. Okay, so I don't have any new ones. I will have to cut some mature trees over here to get actually some new ones because if I cut down the ones that are on my groves, they actually just replant the same sapling. So it's kind of sapling recycling that's going on here. I have to cut actually new trees that are mature to get some new saplings to be able to plant some new trees. So I think that one is not and that one is not and these are not my own this one is actually dead but never mind i could hunt some wolves as well and some rabbits if i find any or hares as the game calls them but i don't see them and i will definitely not see them with the trees on okay but uh it's enough to hunt those two deer for now why do i have so many bones here do i have a spot for bones i should have it over here caucuses animal and bones are actually in material, probably. Raw material. Mm, why are bones not in the material? Waste? Oh, they're in waste. But they are used for some stuff, so it's odd that they are at waste. Well, I'll just move them then over here, and if I need them, I'll take them from there. Oh, you're kind of done with this. You can keep on digging. And down here, have you finally dug a passageway? There you are, granite, finally at that level. Okay, so just to make sure that I can actually produce some stability here with wooden beams, if I put a wooden beam here from this pillar up to here, that's going to provide stability. And then I can do so in the left side as well, over to the right. So just dig like so for now. Dig that and then put the wooden beam. Where are you, wooden beam? That's actually over here wooden beam here and then we'll do some more wooden beams. I'm really not gonna play with stability too much here and I will just place a lot of wooden beams to make sure that everything stays stable because I don't need any cavings here. Okay so one thing that I've noticed is that they are actually not picking up these weapons that are good quality and standing right here and I believe so this was because I had the setup at 83 to at 83% so this is why I have raised this up to 0 to 100 just to make sure that there's actually room in these spots here in these stockpiles for all of the weaponry and only keep the highest quality over here now what do I have here I have some stuff that's actually lower quality that needs to be moved to another stockpile and then the rest will 
have to find its way to there once it reaches high quality. Now, where are we at with this? Excellent. This is all dug. And now I can increase the stability with some new wooden beams just to make sure that nothing happens down here in the bottom. And then move those. Oh, this should be dug as well. Keep on digging. It's going to take a while, I can see now. Now, and relocate these ice boxes all the way down here so that they can produce some ice if the room temperature, well, it's three degrees inside in spring. It might go down further. We'll see as time goes by and we'll just try to find another way if that does not work or just make ice once we get up to, well, autumn or even winter later on. And in any event, I have moved two of these. I need to locate the rest. I will put one more here and then the fourth i will have to go to somewhere else. Actually, that was the one I chose last time. Let's take this one. And I will put it on to the side. Like, well, they take up that spot to work. So I'll move that one over there. So the four for now, I will expand later when I need to. They're digging this. I have not finished this in this episode. Well, I have not finished many things in this episode. But hopefully in the future episodes, I will get to... Are they even going to climb up here oh peter you're so smart that i want to kiss you sometime i'm being sarcastic right now <laughs> that was so dumb of me how are they even gonna go up if you didn't leave them a path how would they build this when they can, they can get to it okay never mind as i said i will be building this for a while more because it's going to take me a while to actually reach all the way up there but it's a great idea and as I said, thank you for all of your suggestions. This is a lot of work that needs to be done here. So it will take us a few more episodes to get where we are going with this place. So thank you for watching and happy gaming.